Hey there, welcome to the video. My name's Andrew and you're watching Red Blue Labs. Today we're gonna be doing a little bit of PF Blocker and playing around in PF Sense. If you're familiar with PF Sense as a firewall, you know that it's free and we can put it on any computer and it's wonderful for a home lab type of environment. It's, it's just great because there's a tremendous amount of learning that we can do with this tool as a firewall. If you want to like make your firewall like even more advanced and add some extra layers of security, consider doing PF blocker. It's it's amazing and it adds another layer. Like our regular firewall has rules that are that are great and and do its job. However, adding PF blocker onto that adds that extra layer that just adds a little bit of oomph behind what a firewall can do. First thing you do is yeah, you got to install this thing into your PF sense. So let's go over to system and we're gonna go down to package manager. And as long as your PF Sense has internet access, you will be able to go to available packages and search for PF Blocker. Search for it. And I've already got it installed, but when you when you search for it, you're gonna find it and you're gonna go boom, install, go through all the install steps, and it's it's really fast. And then once it's installed, we are then ready to go and manipulate some of the configurations. And honestly, it's ready to rock right outside of the box. So we're this is a, an amazing package to add to PFSense. Let's go to our firewall and we're gonna go to PF Blocker. Look, now it's installed. We didn't have that before. Go to PF Blocker. There's a couple things that we need to look at very first. And if we're gonna be doing some country restrictions, we need to have an additional resource that we're going to add into our PF sense itself, first to our IP section. So let's click on that. And in a moment here, we're gonna see the, the Max Mind. So now this is a free database that you can download that has a geo location type of information. It's very important and you're gonna need now on your screen, I've actually blocked out my account ID and I've blocked out my license key because it's free, but you can go off, you can go and get your own information. Just click on that link and go and register an account. It's free again and grab your ID, grab your license key, save those somewhere. And then you're going to take that information and pop it into here. Put it in there and we're good to go. And on the screen, you can see PF Blocker is going to be choosing the interface that you're going to be to be working with. So now by WAN, by default, we're blocking. And in this particular PF sense, I only have a WAN and a LAN. If I had a, a third interface, you, you would see it saying opt one. But in this case, I've only got WAN and LAN. So LAN, what I want to do, I want to reject. I could make it block, which means it just kills that traffic right there. But for now, reject is fine. The user is doing something they shouldn't do, being rejected and told about it. That's fine with me. For now, honestly, we can leave this as default because we're 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 good with what what's going on in this situation. And I'm going to do a test right now. I'm going to open up a new tab here, and I'm going to go to Yandex.ru. So now that's a Russian website. It's got the top level domain of .ru. And I'm navigated and successfully got to the website through my PF Sense in my home lab from my Kali machine. Beautiful. That's currently what we want it to look like. Let's exit out of that. Go back to our firewall here. And before we go and add any geo stuff, let's look at our current firewall. Let's go to our rules here. Now, the neat thing about PF Blocker is that inside of your firewall LAN, it's going to add a an additional rule. So this is the PF Blocker rule set. Everything that you do inside of PF Blocker is going to be added to whatever rule is automatically made for you. Now, you don't need to change any of this because if we wanted to, we would just go ahead and manipulate that inside of PF Blocker service itself. But we should know that remember when we saw we could choose either block or reject. We've got the little hand here and that says traffic is rejected. I'm not gonna change anything in here. We're gonna go over to PF Blocker and we're gonna add some changes in there that will then be carried over and work over in this zone here. Go to Firewall, we're gonna go to PF Blocker, and we're gonna go to IP and head on over to GeoIP. 
Now, right now, we can see all of the different geo areas that we can restrict and currently set to disable, so nothing's being blocked. You saw me get to yandex.ru, that's fine. You're gonna need to make some modifications, though, if you actually wanna block anything. Now, on your screen, you can see that I've got a bunch of little pencils here. That allows me to edit. If you don't see the pencils on the screen, it means that you do not have the max mind ID and license key. Without that information, this will not work. You will not see it. Now, if you have the if you have the ID and you have the license key and you still don't see this, that means you have to manually reboot the PFSense router. Let's look at my router here. Pretty straightforward. If I wanted to reboot this thing, I would just slap a five in there and hit enter. It reboots, reconnect your client machine to the, the router and log back into PF Blocker, and you will see the pencils over here. Awesome. So I've already done that. I already rebooted the machine. I can, see, I can see some key information here. Now I want to go and block so that nobody in my network can get to yandex.ru. Click on the pencil, and over here, we've got so many choices here. I mean, oh, I got Russia already selected there. <laughs> but we could do Netherlands, we could do Switzerland, Sweden, whatever. Whatever floats your boat when it comes to blocking users from accessing resources on the internet. I mean, it's up to you. But in this case, we're blocking Russia. So I've selected it. If I do a left control and choose other ones, I could do multiple things. But I don't really care to block those. I only want to block these ones. Perfect. Let's go and choose what are we going to do. I want to deny people going to websites with the .ru. So deny outbound. Perfect. Enable logging. Uh, yeah, I'd like to enable logging. I'd like to know when people on my network are trying to do something that I don't want them to do. <laughs> All right. Uh, we could do a little double check on the outbound rules because right now we're taking care of outbound. Honestly, if you wanted to be a little bit more specific, you could go in here and, and do that. Maybe it's only FTP servers in Russia. Whatever. It's up to you what makes sense for your environment. But for now, I just want to blanket block everything going to Russia. So we're going to hit save. Bing, bang, boom. Now, a funny thing about PF Blocker is that you can, you can hit save. And that doesn't mean that all the changes that you've made are effective right there. It, it's, it just doesn't work. So PF Blocker does require you to restart the service. And they have a nice little section over here called update. Now it might seem like, hey, we're going to update everything. Well, yes, you can do that. But what we're going to do is update the whole system here so that we are sort of like, hey, I made some changes here. Good. I like to always go back and double check that my stuff is functioning and i've got deny outbound perfect and remember i had set it to russia let's open up a new tab here and now we're going to go to yandex again unable to connect can we get to other other websites yes we can we have successfully blocked our internal users from accessing a specific geo location. Next on the list is I'd like to show you how to add custom deny lists. So these are lists and IP lists that are made by reputable sources online. This is the piece that really, really, really kicks your PFSense firewall up a notch. You can you can deny individual IPs with the firewall, but that's like one at a time. You could do a range but that's also really short. But man, there are so many IP addresses on the internet that your internal users should not be touching. <laughs> There's no reason why they should be going near those things. And so what we've got here is a massive list of block lists. It's, it's great. So, I mean, you could scroll through all of these. These are, these are the things that are available to you that if you want, you could choose to add it. I mean, I could do a Tor block. I could do a uh, spam type of blocking. I've got, uh, I think it's things in Germany that I want to block, maybe. I've got Japanese, whatever. You know, like the list is huge. If we go to here, I look at this, the Stephen Black one here, and it's got a check mark by it. That means that currently I am having that piece 
actually a part of my my PF blocker. Oh, look at this. Check, 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 check. All of this stuff is currently being blocked. If we go back over to our firewall here, our firewall rules, and go to our LAN. This stuff here. Oh, look, now we got Europe. Beautiful. <laughs> that's what I want it to do. Okay. Um, this rule here, that contains all of those block lists that we just saw on the screen. We can go and make a new one. Let's go, let's go ahead and do that. It's not gonna look like this. It's gonna have a new, it's gonna have a new name. Firewall, PF blocker, and I want to do feeds. And I'm going to add, how about, I'm just gonna randomize it with this guy here. Danger rules. Add feed, and it gets a new name. I don't bother changing this. I just leave it the same. It, it's just helpful. I don't know. It's up to you. And we'll choose the state as on. And boo, boo, boo. What's the action going to be doing? I'm going to deny outbound. I don't want anybody going to these things. That's fine. Honestly, everything else can just be left the same. Unless you really want to go in there and... Uh, manipulate things. Let's go save IPv4 settings. Um, remember, after you make a big change, you do need to go to update. And we're going to run our update. We have finished updating. Beautiful. Let's go back to our firewall rules. And we should see our new PF blocker out of there. Bing, bang, boom. That is our new blocking that we are doing it with that list that we just added, the danger rules. When it when it comes to like setting up your small business firewall infrastructure, adding PF blocker just makes sense. It like it takes a regular PF sense firewall and it, it kicks it up a notch and it's powerful. And this is it's so cool and fun. Hey, if you're enjoying these videos, go ahead and check out some of the other videos that are on the screen. I think you're gonna enjoy them. And we'll we'll talk to you soon. All right. See ya.